So right now this pistol is as empty as AOC's head. So all of you YouTube safety sallies can unwad your panties. Welcome back, Original Gangsters. Officer Greg out here at the range with you. I recently went into the gun store in Idaho and almost picked up a Glock 43X. I really liked it. I've always kind of wanted one of these things. However, I'm already the proud owner and pretty good shooter of the Shield Plus, a 13 round Smith & Wesson product. Do I really need the Glock 43X? I decided that day not to pick up the 43X. I had a rare moment of self-control where I did not grab one. However, a friend of mine who lives up there said, hey, you gotta try the 43X before you uh, automatically poo-poo it. So he loaned me his 43X. Now, the owner of this Glock 43X has done a couple of little things that you can obviously tell here. First of all, he's added a Vortex Defender CCW, a pretty good little red dot here to the top of the slide. This is the MOS version of the Glock 43X. So it's ready cut for the red dot. And that absolutely makes it I think a much better firing pistol. Well, with that red dot on top of the Glock 43X, it sets it up with a per as a perfect comparison test with my Smith & Wesson Shield Plus with the Hollow Sun. It's got a Hollow Sun 507K X2 on the top, a little red dot. I've done pretty well with this pistol. If you've seen it on camera a couple of times. I've made a couple of videos here that have featured this pistol. I do really well, I'm rather happy with it. But as you guys know, you don't always need an excuse to go buy a new pistol. So do I need a Glock 43X? Well, the owner of this pistol seems to think so. We're gonna give it a try out here today. We're gonna go head to head. I'm gonna show you both features. I'm gonna shoot them, which doesn't mean anything because I'm just one clown on YouTube. But you guys will be able to see, you know, what my thoughts are about these two pistols. And then of course, I'm gonna give you all the specs and features about these two pistols side by side. So let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna set you up here. I'm just gonna fire some rounds into the bank. 10 rounds from each pistol. We're gonna start with the, not this one, we're gonna start with the Glock 43X because I haven't fired it offhand yet. That's standing for those of you who don't speak Latin. Uh, 10 round magazine, 10 in the 15 round shield arms magazine, hard ball ammunition into the dirt bank. Uh, also, you might be able to gauge, I'm not gonna do a scientific test here, but you might be able to gauge what kind of recoil I'm showing here by looking at the lines here on the little concrete barriers. So let's give it a try. 10 rounds just into the bank to see what it feels like. <laughs> 10 rounds, of course, functioned flawlessly like you would expect any Glock. Felt rather comfy in my hand. I've just been firing a Glock 19. Of course, it's a bigger, wider pistol. But uh, this one's a little snappier. But then again, you're running a subcompact pistol. Let's give the Shield Plus a try. My old favorite. See how we do there just for, again, subjective test. This is my feeling only. Your mileage may vary. 10 rounds out of the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. comparison only having just fired both i think this pistol shoots a little smoother than this one i'm not sure why longer slide and more mass up front and a little bit longer grip says that this one should shoot more comfortably i don't know why maybe it's just the roundedness of this grip but to me the shield feels a little bit better 13 rounds versus 15 rounds you be the judge Okay, I am wearing this ridiculous thing for you, Judge. Everything that guy just says bullshit. 
I'm gonna film from here on the GoPro and I'm also gonna film from this camera directly onto the target. For you guys, I'm gonna shoot from the five yard line here. I'm gonna shoot at the head, the blue dots there on the head. Obviously one named G43X and one named Shield Plus. I'll let you guys figure out where the bullets are going. From the five yard mark, we're gonna shoot first the Glock 43X. I almost call it the wrong thing every time. With the, uh, I think I put 10 rounds here in the Shield Plus magazine, Shield Arms magazine. At the 43X dot, let's give it a try. I'm gonna put you guys up close. I liked it. I like that a lot. I felt the one round that I pulled, that's just me. That's the nature of being an old fart coming out shooting in the rain. All right, directly underneath it from five yards away, the Shield Plus. Not sure if there's any major difference there. I suppose if you took out the flyer on both of those, I uh, punched the trigger ahead of time on the Shield Plus because it has a nice light trigger and I wasn't used to it. And I punched one or two Glock 43X. If you took out the flyers, roughly the same kind of groups from five yards away. No real science there, just here. The Glock 43X comes out of the box from the factory, weighs in at 16.4 ounces. The Shield Plus, out of the box, with no sight, no red dot, weighs in at 17.9 ounces, being a little bit heavier. It's got a 1.1 inch wide slide versus the 0.878 inches slide width on the Glock 43X. The sight radius on the Glock 43X is 5.24 inches, and the sight radius on the M&P Shield Plus is 4.6 inches. In my opinion, Smith & Wesson provides better sights right out of the box from the factory than the Glock 43X sights, which are just standard Glock plastic Lego sights. They are pretty much in there to be knocked out and replaced with good sights. The Glock 43X retails for $450, at least that's the MSRP, whereas Smith & Wesson's website lists the M&P Shield Plus right now for $499, which is a little steep for a subcompact pistol, in my humble opinion. Now, I probably paid at least that because I grabbed mine as soon as they first came out. The Smith & Wesson Shield Plus has a 3.1 inch barrel, and that compares to the 3.4 inch barrel of the Glock 43X. Not really a whole lot of difference there. You're not gonna see any noticeable velocity difference. The Glock 43X is nice and thin, very comfortable. It has a really long grip. Therefore, the butt of the gun might actually print a little bit more. I haven't really noticed it being a problem. The thin width of the Glock 43X is gonna make it very easy to conceal. Both of these pistols are just dreams to conceal under lightweight shorts and a t-shirt and flip-flops as you're running into Walmart in the summer. The Glock 43X has a 6.5 inch overall length versus the Smith & Wesson Shield's 5.24 inch overall length. I think, in my humble opinion, that the M&P Shield has a little bit better trigger reset, a little bit better than the Glock. A Glock this Glock 43X has a pretty much standard Glock trigger reset. Nothing to write home about, certainly nothing bad. And again, I'm not a trigger nerd. I don't really geek out about tiny little differences in triggers. I just find the new updated M&P Shield Plus trigger with its kind of a semi-flat face to be very nice trigger. I've been in love with this trigger since the day I picked up this pistol. The Smith & Wesson Shield Plus has a one and a half stack magazine allowing the 13 rounds in that little grip. The Glock 43X actually has a little bit longer grip as you can see here, but for some reason comes from the factory with a 10 round magazine. Now that's easily upgraded with the Shield Arms magazines. They make a nice metal magazine and the corresponding magazine release that increases the, the capacity of this tiny little pistol to 15 plus one rounds. The Glock 43X, although it has a longer grip, it's pretty much the same grip size as the Glock 19, you can see here. The Glock 19 obviously is a little bit fatter. In my opinion, that makes them more comfortable to shoot. You're dispersing that recoil energy over a wider space into your palm. It's kind of impressive that this little 43X pretty much has the same grip length as the Glock 19. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this at 10 yards at the, I guess, high thoracic area. 
just to see what I can do. This is just one shooter, one guy. See how I print with both pistols. Let's start with the Glock 43X. A red day. Ten rounds from the Glock 43X. Group looks just a little bit bigger than my five round headshots. Let's go ahead and stow this pistol. Now we'll now shoot from the 10 yard line at the shield somewhere back here. I don't want to pull the wrong thing out of your britches. The Glock, or the, um, boy, the Shield Plus, Smith & Wesson Shield Plus from the 10 yard line. Let's fire the same 10 rounds at the lower blue dot and see what we can do from here. Again, no real difference in group size. That's about a one inch dot, maybe just a little bit under one inch. There's my gigantic thumb. Maybe a little bit tighter group with the Shield Plus this time. Not really sure. Um, I gotta adjust my dot over to the right before we continue the rest of these. But overall, accuracy wise, they're basically the same pistol. Okay, we've tested both of these pistols out here at the range for the last couple of hours. And boy, I do like the 43X. I just don't think it's quite the game changer that I need yet. I still do very well with the shield and unless I was just out wasting money and um, although I do quite a bit of that these days, I don't really think I need at this time a 43X. To me, it shot just slightly less accurately than the shield, that's just to me. And to me, it felt like it had just a little bit more recoil than does the shield plus. So it is a 15 round magazine versus a 13 round magazine. Uh, but for me, that's kind of negligible. I carry a spare magazine everywhere I go anyway. So I've got 26 and one in the pipe, 27 rounds minimum with me anytime I carry this. This one could in fact hold 31 rounds, 15 in each magazine and one in the pipe. So uh, similar red dots, great pistols. I'm a big fan of Glocks, not poo-pooing this pistol. But for me at this time, I think I'm going to stick with my Shield Plus and I'm going to return the Glock 43X to its original owner. Thank you guys for stopping by for this kind of dumb range test. I hope you guys are doing well out there in 2024. Stay armed wherever you can. And until next video, OG out.